I'm Pete. I'm Stephanie. Welcome to a bonus episode of The Cool Parts Show. This is a follow-up to an episode that we posted recently about these 3D printed metal bellows. We talked to Gunter Kapler, who's been working on how to use laser powder bed fusion to recreate flexible bellows like this. Um, so conventional bellows like this one are typically made through a tooling-based process, which puts some limitations on the geometries and the different variables. And so moving to 3D printing uh, would allow for greater design freedoms and more customizability for flexible parts like this. So we did that whole episode on 3D printed metal bellows. Um, go check it out. We'll put a link in the show description. But in the course of figuring all this out, the right geometry, the right orientation during the build, Gunter also realized that this idea, 3D printing for solid, flexible structures, it potentially has other applications as well um, for uses including stereo equipment these little ductile spikes. So these are basically like little feet that you would put under a speaker or another piece of audio equipment. And there are a couple of thoughts or, or theories or reasons that you might want to use a device like this. So here is the challenge he's potentially solving. Isolating vibrating stereo speakers from other hard surfaces. A couple of options. There are spikes that minimize the contact area between the speaker and the floor or table surface underneath it. That may or may not reduce vibration depending on the vibration frequency. There are also what are called resonance compensators, basically flexible padding to put underneath the speaker. This combines both. This 3D printed spike also has this bellows form that brings flexibility, so it's a spike with that resonance compensation kind of built in. So Gunter was able to take some of the lessons learned in developing and 3D printing these larger metal bellows and apply them to the ductile spike. So orientation is one of those things. So printing these spikes at an angle um, on this, this corner so you avoid support structures, make them easier to produce. And then choosing a non-round profile for these sort of like bellows-like ridges here was important for allowing the flexibility. And so you end up with something that looks kind of like a ductile spike, has that point on the end, but it's more flexible similar to the resonance compensator. Nowadays, there are two concepts. On the one hand, there are spikes that transfer vibrations to the floor. On the other hand, there are rubber resonance compensators that absorb the vibrations. The idea of the ductile spikes is to combine both, to absorb the vibrations with the help of the bellows and transfer them to the floor. This is realized with a trapezoidal bellows, one end of which ends in a spike. On the other side, the bellows goes directly into a thread that is screwed into the loudspeaker. So these are plastic made through a deposition 3D printing process, FDM or FFF. Ultimately, they would be 3D printed in metal. But what I love about this is the universality of this idea, single piece, flexible forms, and the shape necessary to realize this and the orientation by mounting them on a corner at an angle for the build, just as you said, it results in a form where there's no surface in need of support. And even the point of the spike is in this pyramid shape so that it's the same. Nothing is more than 45 degrees, so no support structure is needed. Yeah, so it's kind of neat that some of the lessons from laser powder bed fusion apply for FFF, and when these ultimately go to be made in metal, it'll kind of work in the reverse too. Um, so these ductile spikes are in kind of early stages. Gunter is working with an acoustic laboratory to further develop this idea. Um, but it's a really neat continuation of the lessons he's already learned about 3D printing flexible metal components, and I'm sure there are other applications we'll find as well going forward. This is a new approach and I'm, I'm really excited to see how it evolves. And uh, it's also a nice inspiration for what else you can do with 3D printed bellows. <laughs>